have a boyfriend. Reason number one. I can't even talk to boys, let alone flirt with them. Do you like Wayne Rooney? I love his new song. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't say the wrong thing. He's a footballer. <laughs> Two. Hanging around with the Dean and Magda doesn't help. I love them to bits, but they're both gorgeous. What chance do I have? Number three. I did meet someone, someone amazing. I've got to be home by 8.30 or my dad will freak. I'll never have a boyfriend. Meg, about tonight. I've got to be home by 8.30. No problem, babes. Still got four hours shopping time. Okay, how about we continue with the abstract work we started last week? Does that suit everyone? Greg, can I help you? <laughs> Greg? What are you doing here? I've told you we're not on speaking terms. I I'm not leaving until you give me a second chance. Greg, I really have to insist that you return to your own class. Truth is, I. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I can't stop thinking about you. I... Just, just one date, Magda. It'll be the most romantic night of your life. I, I promise you won't regret it. Well, Magda, what do you think? OK, one date. Your date will have to wait till tomorrow. Greg's busy this afternoon. No, I'm not. I think you'll find you've got detention for interrupting my class. <laughs> so Magda sorted. That just leaves me and Nadine. Admit it. You like the fact that Greg embarrassed himself for you. You like the attention. And you know what else? You like him. I do not! Oh, come on. Be honest with your friends. Well, maybe just a tiny bit. He's organised something special for our date. Mm. Mm. Well, it looks like it's just you and me, single together. <laughs> oh, please. Not you two. I found this slipped under my door this morning. Whoever it's from. He's written the lyrics to that Claudie song I love. How does he know it's my favourite song? Oh. He wants to meet me tomorrow night. Snap! We're twins. I'm going out with Greg tonight. The O's have smiley faces. So? And his spelling's not that great either. I wonder who it's from. I wonder how long he's been in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> and that just leaves me. Alone, single, with zero potential love interest. wrong. Okay. Don't look. I think that boy over there is sketching me. Where? <laughs> Don't look. Let me go now. Are you meant 
mental. There's potential love interest less than two metres away and you want to go. What does right? You. Yes, you, sketch boy. Here, now. Please don't come over. 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 You coming over? Um, you know, I wasn't actually drawing you. I was kind of drawing the the whole building, but you're just sort of sitting where I ended up getting to. Guilty. Not bad. He's made me look almost pretty. Sit. It's a really big detailed sketch. I thought I'd start with you, so um You're not really buying any of this, are you? Yogurt. Yeah, of course. It's my turn to buy the yoghurt. Ellie, act normal. Sorry if me sketching you made you uncomfortable. I think you've got a really interesting face. I mean that in a good way. I think you're really pretty. Sketch boy. Russell. School. Home high. Age. Sixteen. Any friends? So, what do you want to talk about? Well, the, the awkward silence is kind of working for me, so. <laughs> We better be setting off. I'm coming to see you tomorrow, well. Which way do you go home, Ellie? Yeah, I get the same bus as Dean. Good, same as me. I want to sit next to Russell. I don't want it to be too obvious that I like him. But if I sit with Nadine, he might think that I don't like him. But if I do take the double seat, then Nadine might feel left out. Let's face it, I've known him my whole life and Russell less than an hour. Sketchbook. Ellie never lets anyone see her sketchbook. Do you think he likes me? Hello? He's going totally out of his way just to get on the same bus as you. And he hasn't taken his eyes off you since you first met. Do you think he wants to kiss me? Are you being deliberately slow? I'm kind of scared. I don't want to say goodbye yet. I mean, you haven't shown me a sketchbook. Uh, we, we can go to the park. I mean, only if you want to. Just for a bit. Like, ten minutes tops. Promise. Dad probably won't even notice the time. I'm not embarrassed you caught me drawing you. Alright, well I was embarrassed at the time, but I think I'm getting over it now. I'm the same. I hate it when people look at my stuff before I finished it. You know you're really talented. Thanks. I'd really like to see some of your art someday. You know, like today, because right now is good for me, so... Okay, but 
got to understand that most of it's really silly. It's just sketches and doodles and stuff. I never usually let anyone see it. You've got to promise not to laugh. Trust me. <laughs> These are fantastic. <laughs> You're just saying that. You've got a great gift, Ellie. Oh God, this is my first real proper kiss. crazy because I've known you what less than four hours and I really really like you it's quarter to ten dad is gonna kill me Ellie Ellie wait I'll, I'll come with you Ellie wait um I was wondering if you wanted to meet up tomorrow after school same place only if you want to though yeah I'd love to. I, I mean, I'd really like to. I mean, um, that would be nice. You have to meet me tomorrow, even if it's just to give it back. Oh, thank God. I was worried sick. Where the hell have you been? You were supposed to be back an hour and a half ago. Why didn't you phone? Because I don't have a mobile. Was that a smart remark? No. Well, where were you? Well, I went late night shopping with Nadine, and then we went to a cafe, and then I went back to Nadine's house, and we were talking, and I lost track of time. Oh, I see. You were around at Nadine's place. Yeah, that's interesting, Ellie, because when I called Nadine's place looking for you, she you said... You called Nadine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and she said you left the mail with a strange boy. She told you? She said he was strange. Do you realise how irresponsible it is to go off with a boy you've only just met? Now, who is he? What's his name? Russell. Russell? Well, Russell who? But Russell... Just Russell! Ellie, come back here! Look, the most important thing is that she's said. Yeah, what's she been doing all this time? I think it's obvious, don't you? You don't even know his name and... And you've been kissing him? Dad? Well, that's it. You're grounded. What? No, you can't! I want you straight home from school tomorrow. This is so unfair! We were worried sick about you. <laughs> Can you care about me? How can you? And you've just wrecked the best night of my life. I wish you could be more like Mum. She would have understood. Why did you tell my dad about Russell? Ellie, um, your dad was seriously sent on. You could have at least made something up, or you know, maybe lied like I've done for you a thousand times before. He was really worried about you. Yeah, he was you so worried. He made me worried. Well, I suppose there's nothing you can do now. That totally freaked. Rewind. What have I missed? Okay, tell me everything. No detail is too small. It was the most magical evening of my life. He is so, so nice. As in nice person or nice kisser? Both. 
Mm. He gave me his watch to wear so I could give it back to him this afternoon. Second day. Good work. I'm surprised your dad's letting you go out again. Uh, well, technically, I'm grounded. Want my advice? Rearrange the date. Oh, I would if I knew his surname or his telephone number <laughs> or his address. See, that's dating for beginners. <laughs> What am I going to do? Elle, you've got to learn that being grounded is just a state of mind. Make this right. Go meet him. Who's going to stop you? Well, it could work. Romance capital or what? This means we've all got dates tonight. So? What are you going to wear? <laughs> Uh, you've got to understand. I promised I'd meet him. If I don't go and see him, then Russell will think I stood him up. Well, I tell you what, why don't I go and meet him and I can give him a message? He likes me. Me. You just have to let me go and see him. Please. Okay, I'll give you one hour. But you tell him that you're grounded, you get his number and you come straight back. In an hour and a half? Make sure you're back before your dad. Thanks, Anna. Oh, and um, Ellie, you can buy my top. It's so cute that Russell's late. He must be a late person like me. reaction to something. Do you want to use the phone, sweetie? No, I'm okay. Maybe he's lying in hospital somewhere. Maybe he's got amnesia and he can't remember who he is let alone that he's supposed to meet me why did i think that he would ever come enough to have a boyfriend no no you can't blame yourself you mustn't he's the one with the problem sometimes boys can be idiots he's gonna regret ever standing you up thanks Anna are you gonna tell dad no if you don't want me to as far as evil stepmothers go sometimes Anna is okay I thought he liked me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, my date with Greg wasn't great either. <sighs> Want to know Greg's idea of a romantic walk home? He got his dad to pick us up. How uncool is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious me and him have no future. 
I wasn't going to tell you guys, but that letter from my secret admirer, it was from Natasha. Your sister? Why would she do that? It was a prank. A sick joke. You and your sister are really immature. For your information, we've called a truce. I guess none of our love lives are perfect. I guess there's no such thing as true love. I say we make a pact. No boys for a month. <laughs> totally with you, babes. Me too. thought about Russell. I'm not even thinking about him right now. Guess who came around this afternoon? Oh, and guess. Dad, do we have to do this now? Well, if you're not interested. But he did ask me to give you a message. He? A floppy hair. A bit awkward. Well, a sketchbook tucked under his arm. This is one of those fantasy moments, right? He buzzed every apartment in the building looking for you. Dad? He wanted to tell you he's really sorry about yesterday. His dad grounded him, so he wasn't allowed to meet you. Just as well, because you're grounded too. So I told Russell exactly what I thought of him taking you to the park in the middle of the night. Dad, you didn't. Sure did. I doubt we'll be seeing him again in Ari. Dad, tell me this is your warped idea of a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> I should have seen the look on your face. So, what else did he say? Mm, nothing. Not that I recall. Did you get his number? Mm. His last name. You must have got his last name. Mm -mm. Sorry. Oh, silly me. Almost forgot. He did ask me to give you this. Huh? Give it to me. Dear Ellie, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it last night. My dad grounded me. I tried to call the CAF, but the phone was engaged. Please forgive me and give me another chance. But here's my number. Say you'll see me again. Russell, P.S. Your dad is kind of scary. P.P.S. Have you got my watch? It was my grandfather's and I kind of feel lost without it. Everybody go.